Mmm, my luck toy. Do you remember this? Dawson the dog. Wonderful. Just to remind you, it shoots across the table. Suddenly it transforms into a dog. A bit more of the table. I'll see if I can get him to perform without picking him up. Ooh. So one moment it's a dog, next moment it's a, whoa, it's a dog, it's a truck. Extraordinary, very, very clever idea there. And does about six or seven reversals before it comes to an end. So that's probably the most sophisticated one I've ever come across. But I've got quite a few of these transformation toys and a few of them I've brought along here to show you. This is probably the simplest of the lot, which I really recently thought of as a transformation toy, but that's what it is. It's a, it's a, it's a duck, isn't it? Except, well, I'll show that. That's going to give a little clue what's going to happen next. When you tip it just 90 degrees, it turns into a wabbit, a rabbit. Very clever little transformation. You can see what's happening now as I turn it. Duck and rabbit. So this has got no, um, no gears, no, um, no wheels, no elastic bands, no wind-ups, just a completely separate, simple little item which you turn from one way or the other and it transforms from one figure to another figure. Couldn't be simpler. The origin of this, at least in my collection, I think, started off with the Japanese. They started coming up with some wonderful items which were one thing, and then they turned into a robot. They all seemed to turn into robots eventually. Mostly, the first one I think, which I was still digging out, was a little engine. This one is a piece of rock. Almost like a sort of, you know, if it's shiny, it's almost like, like a huge emerald, isn't it? But this transforms into a robot. It's quite complicated, but it's quite fun. There we are, there's the robot's head, and you've got to pull these bits here which are his legs. I'm not sure it's a robot or a monster actually, it's a bit of both really. And you've got to pull out the arms, if you can do that, look there's an arm there and a hooked arm and a hooked arm there. Extraordinary isn't it? And he stands on his feet and looks thoroughly dangerous. Extraordinary. What a piece, what a piece. A robot or a space monster or something like that. Like. And he goes back into a rocker game. Very interesting and very strange. And quite complicated to do. Here's another one made in Britain a few years ago. It's extraordinary. It's a motorbike. It's quite fun to play with. You can do that. It's got a bit of string underneath, which is interesting, but it's a clue what's going to happen next. This thing collapses into another toy altogether, which is very well known, and you recognise it, but to have this starting off as a... That goes into there, that's right. As a, as a motorbike is an extraordinary transformation when you then turn it into... Hmm, yes, oh, that's, that's the last bit which the little leg goes in. And now we have, do you recognise it? Whoa. A yo-yo. Well, sort of. It just about works. What an extraordinary idea to transform from a yo-yo into a motorbike back again. But that's, that's designers for you. Wonderful people. Here's one which I've got probably about 50 different versions of my collection. Eggs which hatch, but they're really transforming from an oval egg shape, and every one of them changes into a creature or critter. This particular one opens up into a quite a glamorous looking praying mantis, I think it is. There's his body, and there's his arms, and there's his vicious looking... He's got vicious little arms, isn't he? Extraordinary. And the legs, look at the legs coming out as well. That's wonderful, isn't it? And he's these pieces move like that to make it look really quite realistic as a, as a, as a praying mantis. Extraordinary idea. And then goes back into an egg again. So every one of these starts off with something and then turns back into an egg. That's a very, very fine version of it. Some of them are semi-animated. This one here, for instance, is made of very gooey plastic. So when you turn it inside out, it's a monkey at the moment, but he turns into a sort of gooey, eggy thing. I think if we let that sit on the table and it sort of slowly comes apart and slowly it, it sort of opens up with its, it, its arms slowly unsticking from the body and there's a head coming up. It's all sticky, sticky plastic so as you turn it inside out it, it accepts that but when it wants to go back again it tries to become its other shape which in this case is a sort of monkey creature. Very strange and very softened. When it first had it really quite gooey I think too. <laughs> Here's a charming one for, I think, sort of play school type thing for very small children. It's a, a transformation, but it works so simply. It's a little truck which they can play with and run across the floor. And if you want to transform it, you just push there. What happens? Wow, helicopter, complete with a little pilot. Look at that, isn't that beautiful? Very nice, folder helicopter, they call it, folder copter. To put it back again, even a child can manage this. Just bring the two halves up, push them together, push that, that down. It's back into a truck. The driver's disappeared inside. 
So I love that sudden transformation from that into that. That's magical, absolutely magical. So there's quite a few of these around, and I think I'll just finish up with old um, Dawson's Friend here. It's another one I got from the same people, and it also does a lovely transformation. In this case, it's a racing car, not a truck, um, into a sort of different critter. Here we go. Wow, look at that monster. And then back into a racing car again. And back into a monster. Whoa. Wonderful. So, I think these toys really transformed my life. Huh. Have they transformed yours? Beep.